Have you seen the new FNAF trailer? Oh, I just started recording and the, the fucking light is so bright, dude. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, I've got a new layout. I moved my desk. So we've got a green screen in the background now. Uh, I've got to rearrange my room a little bit because it's really messy. So you've got to excuse the backdrop for today's video. But regardless, the new Five Nights at Freddy's trailer dropped. Uh, my mouth also is, is really like cold because I put a smint in my mouth without thinking that I'm going to be like breathing into my eyes constantly because of the mask. So I constantly have smint breath up in my eyes. I don't know if you can see. I sure as fuck can. My eyes are so ruined right now because I'm, I'm breathing smint air into my eyeballs. Regardless, I want to watch Five Nights at Freddy's. That was my chair, I didn't just shit my pants. Regardless, I want to watch the new Five Nights at Freddy's trailer because that dropped recently and I haven't looked up anything about it. All I know is that the trailer exists. So I'm gonna watch it and give you my thoughts on it since I've been doing a bit of uh, Five Nights at Five Nights at Freddy's content recently. You know what would really help? If I put my headphones on. Are you fucking brain dead? Alright, now we can start the trailer. <laughs> Is that William Afton jacking off in the background? That's exactly what that sounds like. Hey, look, listen to this. When I first found you, you were nothing. You were small, pathetic. But now, you are more. He is. It's William Afton chewing or jacking off in the background. I also, my eyes, man, I keep breathing smint breath into my fucking eyes. Are you ready? Wait, this is gameplay. It kind of looks like a um, movie star planet. Graphically. Oh, sh oh shit. Okay. Okay, okay, hold on. It's got a very similar vibe to the old trailers. You guys remember those really, really old trailers from like 2014, 2013 or whenever it was? With like the text flashing up on screen? This is like going back to, to its roots, even though the gameplay is going to be completely different. I mean, I don't know if the gameplay is going to be completely different or not. I genuinely don't know anything about it. I thought it was going to be like a survival horror game, but uh, I get the feeling it might just be sat in your office again. I really hope not. I'll lose my shit if it isn't. They look really good, man. Gregory, we can get you out of here. You and me together. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, this is game. You can! You. None of them will stop hunting you. What? Wait, what? My eyes are watering so bad, but this looks. We have to get you out by morning. This looks insane. As I say, you will bring me what I want. What? And if you fail me, what the fuck? <laughs> both of you burn. What is? Oh my god! That looked like Skull Kid. Did you hear that jingle at the end? Okay, there's a few things to discuss that looked like Skull Kid at one point there. You see this guy? The guy with like the sun on his face? I, I, th I thought this was Skull Kid to begin with. This is like a full open world, like you can go all around the mall, right? They chase you and stuff? Why do they chase you? I thought they were going to be helping you escape like Vanny or whatever. I also want to touch on this jingle at the end, listen to this. Yeah, it's Freddy's jingle from the end of the first game, right? That's- that's so cool! <laughs> That's really cool. Okay, so it's like a full free roam trailer. I wasn't expecting it to be like that. I kind of want to check out these bits again, these like free roaming bits. I'll have it on mute while I'm talking. But like, th it looks kind of like Outlast. Obviously the graphics for, for the humans are not, uh, it's not like going for that realistic look that most modern games go for. But hey, there's the cupcake on the left. You guys see the cupcake on the left? There it is, right there in the distance. I'll get a little bit closer. There you go. There's the cupcake in the distance. It looks really cool. I don't understand what all these like different booths are for all the different animatronics and why Chica's on the right-hand side for some reason. I don't get that. Also, the carpet on the left, it's like that nostalgic 80s, 90s arcade carpet or whatever. It looks really, really good. The aesthetic of the game is perfect. I'll admit, when the game was first announced and when it was first shown off, I wasn't 100% sold on it, mainly because of the art style and the style of the animatronics, I thought they looked a little bit too cartoony to me. They looked like they were straight out of Fortnite. 
but it actually seems okay. Like, the art style for the humans, I feel like you're not going to see humans that much anyway. They look fine. It's not supposed to be really ultra realistic. I don't know if you guys know what Phasmophobia looks like, but that game did just fine, despite the fact that the graphics looked a little bit corny. You can see in the background as well, it really confirms uh, that the, the carpet's going to have that nostalgic 80s and 90s arcade feel to it, and it looks really good. The aesthetic of the place is really cool. The whole mall setting too, being chased by animatronics and free roam. I don't know, it gives me Outlast vibes, if Outlast was a little bit better, because I don't know about you, but I wasn't a massive fan of Outlast. Either way, this looks really, really good. I'm really excited for it. I said when they dropped a gameplay trailer, for this i would look at it and i will play the game hopefully on my channel when it comes out i don't know if that's william afton at the beginning or not it's really difficult to tell but i'm pretty sure it is because he sounds exactly the same as he did in fnaf 6 i don't know i i, I don't know I, again i don't think they want to reveal too much of the story because you know the game is not out yet but i will play it the story seems like it's going to be really interesting the new gameplay elements are a lot of fun to think about as well and on top of that the actual animatronics themselves look really really good i don't know why the animatronics are chasing you though I had the impression, or I was under the impression, that the animatronics were there to help you, that they were there to protect you from, from Vanny, but I guess not. I, I don't understand. Because there's a there's an action figure, right? There's a statue, not an action figure. Uh, very similar to this Luigi that I have from Luigi's Mansion 3, and it's Freddy, but it's it's the kid, Gregory or whatever, inside of Freddy. So I thought, maybe in the game, you're going to be inside of Freddy, and it, <laughs> in the most safe work way possible, and maybe Freddy and the animatronics would, would help you get away from, from Vanny or whatever. This is something I want to touch on as well. The camera like map inventory type thing they've got going on here. You know, you've still got the cameras on like a little wristwatch. I don't know why on like a Fitbit. I guess we switched over from security offices to Fitbits and you know, whatever works for you. It looks really, really good. I I'm really interested to see, you know, you can you can look at the cameras on the fly, I guess. The map and inventory and logs. I hope it's a long kind of game, but at the same time, I hope it's not too long because I need a game to speed run and uh, Luigi's Mansion 2 is really difficult to, to record because it's on a fucking 3DS. So if this game is pretty short, I will try my hand at speedrunning it, but that's that's for way off in the future. Either way, I think everyone's designs are really cool. I didn't see Bonnie's design. Obviously, these are the animatronics. Uh, you know, there's Freddy and what I assume is Bonnie. Um, I, I don't know if that's actually Bonnie or not. I need to look up the names. I know that that's Freddy uh, in the middle. I don't know who the crocodile is or what his name is or anything like that. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. I guess I'm just as excited about this as everyone else is. It'll be really interesting to play the game and kind of see how everything plays out. Okay, so before I end the video, uh, there's something else I know noticed. I recorded my outro and everything and I was about to load up Premiere to edit this video, but I noticed something. I didn't watch the trailer all the way through. Take a look at this. There is more going on here than you realize. What is that? <laughs> Is that, okay, so there's a few things I'm speculating this could be. One, people are going to speculate that this is Springtrap. Uh, wow, he's back again. I don't know though. I don't know who this could be. I really don't have any other theories. Maybe it's Michael. Who knows? Uh, who knows? Who knows, man? But my main one is, is going to be it's Springtrap, right? Everyone thinks it's going to be Springtrap. So I'm going to go with that until people prove me otherwise. Either way, that is the end of today's video. So I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for similar content in the future. If you want to chat to me and other fans of the channel, you can join the Discord server the link will be in the description below but anyways like i said that's the end of today's video so i hope you guys did enjoy and i will see you all in the next one